Well, here's a nice little feature I want to share with you. Uh, and that is friendly names that we've got in Map Info Pro. This is version 17. Just look at a few maps. Tend to have a few map windows open. Perhaps a browser here and there. And uh, you'll see that at the tab at the top, as well as in the layer control, we've got a number of map windows. Now these are named according to the files that are, have been opened. A bit, little bit messy. So it's really nice if you can just re-name uh, that. Just do a right click and you can call it what you like. So we're looking at some deprivation data here. We'll call that a deprivation map. Nice. So you'll see it's uh, shown up in the layer control as well as on the map window tab. That's nice. Tidy the, the other ones up as well. Now that's been around for a while, but uh, something newer is the actual being able to rename the layers. Or at least you're not renaming the table that's underlying this. And as you can see lower underscore layer underscore SOA underscore 2011 isn't um, too helpful when you're sharing this with other users. So in the same way, we can right click and rename. And here we have ONS output areas. Easy. Uh, we can also do that with the thematic map that sits on top of there as well. Uh, this is deprivation index ranges. And we're looking at Chesterfield here, CBC boundary. Okay, we can tidy that up a little bit. Advantage of this, well, if you're going to produce, a, you'd want to go to a layout, uh, but when you produce a PDF from this, together with logos and copyright notices, of course, then uh, what you'll see is a layered PDF is that these friendly names come through into the PDF rather than the uh, slightly awkward table names that I've been using. And uh, yeah, nice one. Tidy up what you've got, uh, particularly if you're sharing this workspace with uh, users who only have MapInfo Pro Viewer and maybe don't understand all the naming conventions. Yeah, nice little feature. Give it a go. Easy peasy.